Hello, everyone. Hello, guys. Uh, be very welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, what's up, uh, Julio? What's up? Good evening. Everything is okay. I've been working hard. <laughs> All right. I I believe so. I guess. All right. Pretty cool. That you are great. Even yeah. Perfect. Though, thank you. perfect. Even though you have been working all day long. Do you work on the weekends? No. Uh, it's my off. Both days? Both days. Both of them. Uh -huh. ah, cool, cool. You have both days off. That's great. Yep. Nice. All right. Let's see. I see Francisco. Francisco Antonio. Good evening. Be very welcome. And Wendy. There is Wendy online. And Carla René. Hello, Francisco. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. What about you? Working all day long, same as Julio? Same thing? Yeah, teacher. Okay, yes. Pretty cool. Great, guys. Uh, thank you for joining. Jorge, there you are. Hello, Jorge. What's up? Good evening, up? teacher. What's up? Good evening. Doing good? Yes, teacher, I am good. Perfect. That's great. And Carla Renee, what about you, Carla? Everything is all right? Good evening, teacher. Yes. All is okay. Okay, perfect. That's great, guys. All right. Uh, let's, hey, I see Jorge using a different background. Every time that Jorge connects, he uses a different background, but that's great. Right? I cannot use a different one. It is the same. Yes, English online. All right, perfect, guys. Uh, let's see who else is joined. Uh, all right, we are seven. Let's begin the class already. We are in the middle of the week. Today is Wednesday. Let me open this Word document for the notes. When you have questions, and we need to check. All right, uh, Wednesday, what is the date? The complete date, please. Wednesday. Wednesday, what else, guys? What is next? Wednesday. There is. Bye. Okay, all right. But first, we say the month. Wednesday, August 30th. Perfect. Hey, goodbye. Goodbye, August. And welcome, welcome, welcome. September, Independence Day. We have Independence Day. Coming soon. All right. Okay, guys, welcome. Be very welcome to this class. Let me open presentation. What number? What number is it? Ten. Uh, 11. No, last night was, last night was 10. Today, we have class number 11 or 10. Uh huh. Ten or eleven? Eleven. Eleven. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Nice. Class number eleven. Let's see what we are gonna be checking today. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we are gonna study this new tense. Have you have you studied the past perfect? Have you seen it? And in any opportunity? No? Past. The past perfect in English. Have you studied it? Make memory. Make memory. Yes, teacher. Ah, you did? When? When, guys? In the last course. Ah, in the last course. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. All right, that's cool. So you have an idea about this. All right. Okay, Sophia, welcome to the class. All right. Uh, the sentence, pretty much the first sentence is, I have, I have been reading a lot in, in the, the last, last days. days. 
Yes. I have been reading a lot in the last days. All right. Uh, the past perfect, do we use it? Do we really use it? What do you think? Do we really use it? Do we really need it? Uh -huh, no. Remember uh, adverse of frequency. Remember adverse of frequency always, usually, never, etc. Do we really need past perfect? What do you think? I'm talking about adverse of frequency. I hardly I ever use it. I think, yes, we really need it. Okay. You, we don't really need it. Mm, I am 50% yes, 50% no. <laughs> they have. Okay. Yeah, but this is a tense that you can use in some opportunity. But not always, not always. But it is great to study this tense. Okay. Let's see. What's the past perfect? Uh, Sophia, can you read the sentence, uh, please? What's the past perfect? What's the past perfect? We use the past perfect when talking about a past even before the past. Ah, uh, okay. All right, let's take a moment. Uh, when talking about a past event, a past event before the past. All right, that is the first point. We have two points in the past. We have a past event in the past that is before. It's kind of confusing at the beginning, yes, but we have this mini chart. Okay, what what do we have in, in this chart? We have the? We have the past. Past. Okay. <laughs> Nowadays, we are in the? Present. In the present. And tomorrow, it will be? The future. Future. All right. Those are the three points that we are going to check. But pretty much, we are going to be working more in the past. Have you seen the movie uh, Back to the Future? Have you seen it? The movie Back to the Future, it's pretty cool. Yes, no, maybe. With, uh, with the, the doctor, uh, Martin McFly and other characters. That is a movie that you can watch to understand a little bit about the past, the future, the past before the past etc. Okay, let's go in here. Okay, uh, Carla, we are going to use the circle past. to represent the past event. Yes, okay, we are going to use the circle to represent the past event in the chart. In we are going to use, what else? We are going to use the, what is this? Situation before the past. Uh, all right. And the, the form is a, a square, correct. All right. Circle, past event, situation before, before the past is the square. Let's check. And it is? there always in the past both of them both of them all right present no present future no future only the past okay with that in mind let's check uh, this uh, first sentence can you read it uh, please uh, jorge can you read the sentence on the screen i could I coming back home because I had forget my wallet. All right, uh, one more time, please. Can you read it one more time? 
I came back home because I had forget my wallet. Ah, okay, good. Thank you. It says I came back. Remember what is the present of came? Come. Um. Next is simple past. Came. Came. What is the participle? Come. Come, correct. But check, I have two sentences. One sentence representing the simple past. And what is the sentence that represents the simple past? I came back home because... All, only to home. There it finished. Oh, right, right. Yes. I, came, I, came, I came back. Yeah, I came back home. That is the sentence that represents the simple past. And what is next? Because I had forgotten my wallet. I have forgotten my wallet. And this sentence represents the past perfect. The past perfect, past yes. Perfect. The past perfect, yes. Okay, let's continue with something else. How to form the past perfect? How do we form that? For affirmative sentences, we need to use. First part, always, all the time, simple present, simple past, verb to be, a future, you need always, you always need, you always need a subject. Plus, we are going to be using have. have what is what is have in this part of the sentence what is have what's this ideas uh -huh. okay in okay. this Silver. sense sorry can you repeat it Silver. correct in this sense have is the auxiliary verb for the past perfect. What is the auxiliary verb for the present perfect? How? Yeah, correct. Present perfect is, ah, correct. That depends on the subject, singular or plural, correct. But in this one, the auxiliary is have for the past perfect. After that, we have the verb in, in past participle. Correct. In this opportunity, we need to use the verb in the participle. What is the participle? Uh, it is the third form in the verbs. We are going to check this. And finally, we use a, a complex. That's it. This is the formula that you need to follow. Okay, but affirmative, only affirmative. Let's check. Uh, what is the sentence uh, on the screen? Read it, please. I have left my keys on the table. All right. Guys, question. How many sentences do I have in this one? How many? One, two? Only one. Only one. In what is the tense of this sentence? What is the tense? Is the? Past perfect. perfect. Is the past perfect? I don't have simple past, check. I have left my keys on the table. What about if you translate, if you try to translate this, what's the meaning of this sentence in our language, in Spanish? What's the meaning? Yo había dejado mis llaves en la mesa. Ah, correct. Yes, that's the meaning. Correct. Yo había dejado. Okay. Había. El había está in? Had. In had. Ajá. El dejado is in? Left. Left. That's it. 
había olvidado, había dejado, había sucedido, había comido, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. That is the past perfect. And the rest is the complement. That's it. Pretty simple. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next. What's the participle of a verb? Participle of regular verbs. What is the participle of regular verbs? For example, uh, let's see. Tell me a verb in, in regular. Regular verb. One example. One regular verb. Regular, regular. Yes. Came. Uh, came. Mm, came is irregular. Came is irregular. Visit. Listen. Ah, visit. For example, visit. Yes. Yes, visit is regular. What is the participle of visit? Visited. Visited, visit, correct. Because visit, present. Simple past? Visited. Visited. Ah. The past participle is? The same. This is the same, correct. It's the same. No complication. All right? No complication. That's it. What is the participle of uh, use? Used. Used. Used, correct. Simple past is the same as the participle. Pretty easy. Good. Let's check. The verb is? Play. Play. Infinitive. Play. Simple past. Played. Played with letter D at the end. Pronunciation, correct? And the participle? Played. 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 That's it. Okay? Easy. Pretty easy. But we have this contrast with the irregular verbs. In this opportunity, we need to make memory. We need to learn the participle of the regular verbs. Uh, one example, irregular. Irregular, only one. Eat. Eat, simple past. Eight. Eight, participle. Eaten. Eaten. Ah, okay, good. Eaten. It's eaten. And that is a participle, that's right. Let's check. Ah, no, it's not play, right? I'm going to place your, your, the verb that you told me. Eat is infinitive. Uh, simple past. Eight. That's it. Eight. Participle. Eaten. Eaten. That's it. Pretty easy. No complication. There it is. Okay. All right. I'm going to save that. Okay, guys. Pretty cool. Let's open this uh, link. We are going to be working on this. What is the indication there? Melissa, Melissa or Catherine, what is the indication in this exercise? Regular and irregular verbs. In the simple past, crossword, crossword one. Crossword one. That's it, in the simple past. Ah, but let's check if it's in the simple past. Let's see, form the simple past of the given verbs. But it says simple past. Uh, we don't need the simple past. For the past perfect, we need the participle. All right. I'm going to discard this link because it says simple past. Okay, no problem. I have more exercises that we can practice with. All right, let's open this one. Past perfect, let's check. All right, maybe you have seen this type of exercise. The thing is that we need to order the sentence according with the tense. All right, uh, Julio, number one, what's the order of the sentence? Mm. The, the storm mm -hmm. had destroyed. Mm -hmm. okay, all right. The storm had destroyed, destroyed the, the, 
the sun the sun castle that we built. Ah, uh, okay. The storm have, but nothing happens when I play. Have have destroyed. Uh, Maybe it's a different order. Oh, uh, the the storm destroyed. Uh, the the sun the sun castle that we that we built that we have built. Okay, all right. This storm destroyed. Check. What is this tense? The storm destroyed. What is the tense? Past. Simple past. past. Simple past. Correct. Sometimes you can make a simple past sentence, and in the complement, you use the past perfect. All right. Uh, the sand castle. That uh, we have built. That we have built. That we have built. Que habíamos construido. Construido. Very good. That's it. All right. Uh, Carla, the next one. This one, please. My mom. My mom. Ah, my it's not my mom. My brother. Uh, yeah. let, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's it. Eight. Eight. Uh, eight. Hmm? All the cake. All the. Oh, no. No. That. That. Uh -uh. No. All cake. All, let's see. All. All cake. Uh -uh. Not in the correct order. Of. Of. Ah, all right. The. All of the. Okay. Cake. Cake mm -hmm. that. Our. Our, correct. Our had made mom had made have made correct that is the order that's right pretty good all right next Sophia this is yours the movie the movie had started have started when uh okay when the no when we all right arrived arrived at the cinema ah, okay very good that's it that is the order check in first place we sometimes can use the past perfect. The movie had started when we arrived at the cinema. And this is simple past. Okay, very good. Uh, that is yours, Catherine. Catherine or Romeo. Any of you. We are making these sentences to be in order in the past perfect. Okay, guys, can you give some help to your classmates? Mm. Uh, remember, if you don't after. find the word correct, how do you know that is after? Because the word has capital letter in English, the first letter in a sentence should be in capital, <laughs> correct. Okay. After. Have. After she had. Mm -hmm. She began to feel sick. She had eaten. 
to become to feel sick to feel sick okay very good that's it all right let's see uh okay this one any of you the first that came Teacher. all right go ahead teacher, teacher ah, i thought i thought you were telling me me teacher <laughs> okay <laughs> teacher teacher have have a study uh -huh, okay Um, teacher had a study for, for me. I don't know. Hmm. For it's it's not mm. for a lot. A lot. Okay. Let's try. Uh, ah yes, teacher had a study a lot for being for being. A good teacher. Ah, very good. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that does the one. Teacher had studied a lot for being a good teacher. Ah, hey, but I see ing. Can I use ing in the past perfect? Yeah. No. It's the gerund. But, but why? Because after uh, after four. yeah after four. Or after this is uh, I after uh huh no the word for is uh, I forgot the word but after this type of words the next verb is ing for being for playing for studying etc ing okay a good teacher okay that is correct next. Number six. Teacher, what's the meaning of go? What's what the meaning? meaning? Go. In the last sentences. Uh, let's see in the previous one. I oh, know this is a mistake. Good is the adjective. Okay. Uh-huh. There is the word missing D for being mm -hmm. a good teacher. Yes. Mistake. A spelling mistake. Okay, we have this one, guys. Maybe uh, Luis Eduardo, Catherine can make it in order. Okay, any anyone? We have forgotten. We have. We have no. We have no. no. We what? We were. We were. We were late. All right. We yeah. were late. Late for. For the play. Because. For... Uh huh. The. The play. The play. Because. We were... Uh huh. Because. Uh, we have we have we have, have. We have forgotten our passport. The trip was fried. El trip se doró, right? The trip was fried. Doraron el trip. They for they had forgotten the passport. That's it. Okay. Good, good, good. That's what the one. And uh, what about this one? All of them are affirmative. I have had. I have uh okay. Uh huh. Dance. Dance. Yeah. That's it. With my my crush. With uh, ah okay. You know what crush means. <laughs> ah, you know, right? Okay. What One is month. crush? Month. Oh. Uh-huh. What's crush? 
to have a crush? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? Really? Okay. A crush is someone you are in love with, but that person is not in love with you. That's a crush. Yes. Now you know. Okay. Uh, some months before. All right. Pretty good. Let's see. Number eight. We are about to finish. Number eight. Number eight. Amy. Amy. Oh, Amy. Annie. Annie. <laughs> ah, Annie. Annie or Annie. And Amy. Okay, they are two. Correct. Met each other. Had met. Oh. met. Had uh, met. Okay, had. Okay, had. No. Okay. Oh, have no. not. Okay, but this is negative. Doesn't matter, but it's correct. Okay, very good. Uh, this is a short one. She. 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 she had it and not 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 eating. Not eating. Takes up before. Uh -huh, correct. She had not eaten. Pizza before. Before. Yeah, correct. In Italy, imagine. She had she had not eaten pizza before. Okay, number 10, the last one. You were you. Uh, okay, you. Oh no. You had started. You had had you have not. Okay, you had not study nervous you had not studied it is studied you had not studied for the test for for the test the test so so you were very nervous Yes, correct. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, already completed. Okay, pretty good, guys. Okay, with this exercise, I am pretty sure that you get the idea about using the past perfect. Let's see, I'm gonna open the second link. Let's see what contains. Um, oh, but this is kinda the same link, right? Yeah, the storm, the sun, cast. Yeah, it's the same. The same link. Okay. Number three. Number three. Uh, maybe this is different. I you know what happened. I am kind of sure that I placed different links in this part. I don't know what happened. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Let's see. The next, uh, the next part after the practices. Okay. This is only one. What <laughs> do I add? Why do I add in the other links? Have you opened uh, any time one of these links? Have you opened them? Have you? No, teacher. No. Hey, so I'm not going to continue placing links for you to practice in this section. Okay. The purpose is that you open the links and you can practice a little bit before going to the platform. Okay. Let's see, when I, I, when I place these links, you have this type of exercises, according with the topic. Okay, past perfect, sentences, exercise. What is the indication, Romeo, in this part? Uh, that's number, what do you say in this one, two, five? I don't remember. Uh, 42 and um, 51. Four thousand fifty one. <laughs> four thousand two hundred. Ah, yeah. Four thousand two hundred fifty one. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Put it, the verbs in brackets into the gaps. 
and four sentences in past perfect. Use contract for only when there are personal pronouns. Okay. Use con contracted. All right, check. This is like a, like a participle. Use contracted. Contractada, but that is the pronunciation. What is the example? The example is. Before Stephen did his homework, he at the he, library. He, he. Okay. What you have in parentheses is the infinitive verb, but you need to convert it in the past. In the past perfect, yes. So the answer is before you can his, read it his homework he had studied at the library correct check this is the past perfect past perfect of the infinity in parentheses okay this is the exercise the exercise okay number one you're gonna be ivania anna ivania what is number one Ivania? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, she uh, to live in Sweden before she went to Norway. Okay. The verb is to live. To what live. is the participle? How do I make the participle? Remember, remember the rule. The participle in the affirmative is this. Subject. Subject. Plus how, uh, uh -huh. plus a verb participle, uh, plus complement. Plus the complement, that's it. How. In okay. The, uh, uh, well, uh, she, uh, uh, how? She had. Had, uh, third person. Uh, no, uh, this is not the third person. Okay. No, 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 no. This is the past perfect. Okay. The third person is this, but we are not using have as a normal verb. This is an auxiliary verb to form okay. the past perfect. Okay? okay, so have is an auxiliary for the past perfect. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, well, live, live or live? Ah, uh, okay, guys, help, <laughs> help, help. What is the participle of the verb live? Lived. 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 Ah, because it's irregular, right? Live. Yeah. ED. Lived. Okay, good. She had lived in Sweden before she went to Norway. To Norway. Okay. All right. We are going to check this at the end. Next, uh, next exercise, Francisco, number two. After we had eaten, the conflicts hurricane in. Uh, okay, the conflicts, I like conflict, conflicts. The conflicts, Henry. Came in. Came in. Okay, very good. Okay, we can leave it like that. Okay, but remember guys, in this, in this indication, says, Use contracted, contracted forms, forms only, only when there are personal pronouns. When there are personal pronouns. What are the personal pronouns, guys? Do you remember them? Personal pronouns? I, you, Correct. he, yes, she. Those ones. those ones. So we can make this. We can do or we can type the contraction in this case she'd she'd apostrophe correct don't forget the apostrophe all right she'd, she'd lived she'd lived ah she'd lived teacher really ah, okay what about if you place a have in the dictionary you're gonna check this have meaning blah 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 it is a verb, yes, but this is as a normal, as the normal verb, simple past or past simple, and 
What else? In the past participle. Past, past, past participle of, of have. Uh, have. Also, use with the past participle of other verbs to form the past perfect. There it is. So you can use apostrophe, letter D. And that means past perfect. Past perfect. Yes, you can do it. What is the pronunciation? Teacher, what is the pronunciation that you pronounced a moment ago? She apostrophe in D from head. She'd. Mm -hmm. She'd. Ah, it changes a lot, right? It changes a lot. So we can make this. Okay, number two. Number three. Uh, Jorge. Before Ken ran to carry home, oh. he had a um, phone. Uh, have a uh, phone. Had. Ah, okay. Had. Phone. Uh, phoned D because it's regular. Correct. Phoned. Phoned. Him. Him. Before Ken ran, ah, not to not to Barbie's house. He's different. Carrie's house. Ken from the movie Barbie. Yes, Francisco. Teacher, one question. Correct. The con the con the contraction in this case is the same when we use uh, uh, the the auxiliar would. Ah, correct. Yes, that's it. Yes, but you have to be careful when you see this. Uh, see the see the be. A good mother, for example. Or she'd uh -huh. what is the difference? Can you complete the sentence? Kind of similar, similar to this one. Bean. Bean. Ah, okay. Bean. Good mother. A good mother, but we need to complement the sentence. The verb change. The, uh, Correct. Correct. Okay. The verb changes. This is wood, apostrophe D. But what is going to tell you what the tense is? The verb be. that follows. B. She would be. Ella sería. Una buena madre. Correct. And in this one. Había sido. Uh -huh. Una buena madre. Before her second. Just, this is just to complement the idea. Second ah, okay. son. Ella había sido. A good mother. Una buena madre antes de su segundo hijo. Ah, so with the second, uh, bad mother. <laughs> okay, that is the idea <laughs> that it gives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you need to complement sometimes. Yeah. To have Thank more you, teacher. The idea. Okay, check. You need to be careful with that. All right. But you need to check the verb. Okay. Okay. Thank All you. Right. Okay, that's it. Pretty good. Good question. Good question. Uh, you know that American people use a lot of contractions, and sometimes you might be confused. All right, uh, number four. Four, four. Let's see, after. After they had packed their backpacks, they rode away on, the, on, the, on their bikes. They rode away on their, ah, that sounds fun. Okay, good. Yes, had packed. Okay, uh, number five. Let's see, maybe Sofia. Sofia, Melissa, Catherine, Ivania, Luis. Gary have 
his grandma in the house because his father had told him so. So, all right, Gary. Gary helped his grandma in the house because his father had told him so. Okay, good. Uh, six. Six, six. Has been. Six. Complete. Hey, complete. Let's practice the, the, the cat. Word. The cat hid under the chair because the children had been so low. Had been so. I don't know. What's, it's only that, right? Only that. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Okay. The cat hid under the chair because the children had been so loud. Been, been or been. Pronunciation. Because I hear been. 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 Check. Yes. Been. Been. The pronunciation is a little bit longer. Longer, longer. Been. Like that. Okay. Seven. Before the students started to write the teacher to have collected the mobile phone. The teacher had collected. Uh, okay. This is a regular verb. What is the pronunciation in the participle? Mm -hmm. Ideas? No? Collected. Collected. Uh, okay. Remember, in the regular pronunciation, Rules for the regular verbs, we have three. We have, mm -hmm. remind me. We have ID. ID, correct. Number one. Number two. Pronunciation two. T. T. E letter T. And number D. three. D. Correct. D. D. As in David, correct. What is the pronunciation? I, D, T, or D? Okay. For this verb. The is, first one. The yeah, first yeah. one. Correct. Collected. Collected. Okay. Carla? Collected. Have collected. Their mobile phones. Mobile phones. All right. Very good. Okay. Guys, I know that you know, but in this particular case about regular verbs, pronunciation, you need a little bit of practice to manage or to dominate this. Okay, just a little more practice and you would be covered. After Max, after Max, had to finish. Finish it. All right, fin finish, finish it. Uh, pronunciation, what's the pronunciation of this regular verb? The, the, the second one. Correct. With K. Finish. Shall we say? Finished. Finished. Finish. Yes, finished. T at the end. It's breakfast. He left. He left the flat. The flat. All right. Okay, pretty good. Number nine. Laura repair. Laura. In English is Laura. Like like Laura. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's pronunciation. <laughs> Laura. Laura repair her glasses because her brother had broken them. Bro had broken them. Broken them. Okay, pretty cool. And finally, number 10. By the time the show began, all friends had to arrive. Had arrived. Had arrived. Okay, pretty cool. Let's check your answers 
so we can see if they are correct or not. Check in. Ta -da -da -da. And oh, pretty good. Okay, 100%, guys. Good, really good job on this. All right, all of them correct. Pretty good. Excellent. That's it. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Uh, okay, the second leak. Let's see if it's not repeated. Repeated. Ah, uh, I don't know what happened. It is the same link, number three. Let's check. Ah, no, this is different. Okay. In this opportunity, you have more exercises that you can do. In the past perfect, but today we are checking the positive. Tomorrow, we are going to check the negative and the questions in the past perfect. But you can practice in advance. Puede practicar por adelantado. The negative and ah, it doesn't say question. No questions. Only affirmative and negative in this part. All right. Okay. Let's see. Do we have more content in this part? Let's see number thing. Uh, da -da -da -da. No, this is the same one. Okay. Okay, guys, questions, questions about this, about the past perfect? Any question? Any other? Okay, the important part is that you remember the participle. If you have doubts about finding the participles, I advise you to check a list, irregular verb, list. Let's check. So you can check the participle. Wake. Awake. But simple. Awoke. Participle in this column. Check. They are there. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. No more questions. Questions? No. No teacher, no question. No question, teacher. Okay, pretty kind of easy there. The tense, right? Pretty easy. Okay, good. Guys, uh, thank you for joining. I see you tomorrow in the last class of the week number three. Please continue doing your assignments in the platform. And see you tomorrow. Good day. Good day, good day. Tomorrow. See and good tomorrow, night teacher. tonight. Good evening, everybody. See you. Bye -bye, see you. See you. Bye bye, guys. Thank you for joining. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everyone. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys. Take care. See you.